Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Friday, August 14th, 2020. And I thought what I would go through today is the silver linings of coronavirus. There's so much negative talk and so much sadness and a lot of um, death and despair and suffering and so forth. And so is there anything to be grateful for, I guess would be the question. And I think, <coughs> excuse me, it all depends on how you look at something. So here's some of the silver linings. Technology, look at these very computers and the internet and the cell phones that we've gotten used to that have helped us so much to stay, stay connected as we're social distancing and so forth. Communication, how about Zoom? Zoom has been become a synonymous with uh, meeting people over the internet and uh, the way that um, some of the past ones, Skype and go to meeting and different ones were in the past. Zoom has been fantastic. Time created, lots of time with family and friends and especially children too. Science, science is so far advanced that there should be a vaccine soon. That's a silver lining. Family dinner time is making a comeback. That's a fantastic thing to think about people connecting as a family, which was something I thought was long gone with my childhood. Uh, the personal aspect of things, I think we really appreciate face-to-face -face and hugs and handshakes and smiles and you know handshakes may never come back again so we shall see but efficiencies i think about how convenient it is to do a zoom call for an hour and spend instead of spending an hour driving one way and an hour back i've got three hours invested for a one hour meeting now it's just one hour and then i'm on to other things conveniences I get Amazon Fresh to my door about once a week, and it's so fantastic. You don't even have to go to a store, park, hassle it. It's all there in a package ready to roll for you. Community, I, I think there's a great sense that we're all in this together, which is a great feeling of unity. And finally, embracing gratitude. I think the best thing about gratitude is that it helps you to realign your priorities and really think what's important. And whether that's your health or your family or connections or whatever it might be, I think you find out what is really important to you and what really makes you happy. So as I like to say from time to time, gratitude turns what you have into enough. It can help you through the coronavirus as well. And there's some silver linings for you for today. That's the gratitude news for today. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you next week. Remember, be grateful and never quit.